How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. Today I'm here with Katie and we are going to be taking a look and a little bit of a deep dive into the newest Sockney trail shoe, the Endorphin Edge. Now, Katie, give us a little bit of a rundown of what this shoe is all about and what's going to make it very special for that trail race day. Absolutely. So when we first thought about this shoe, we really wanted to think about how we could bring a carbon fiber experience to the trail in a way that was, you know, trail runner first and foremost. So we worked with a team, we you know, thought about it, it could have been an easy copy and paste from what we've learned on our wonderful road product, um, but we know that the, that's not the experience a trail runner needs. So we worked with a company um, called Carbitex, who is an expert in um, carbon fiber flexible plates, which is a little bit different and we really wanted to, we really liked the idea of what a flexible carbon plate could bring for a trail runner. Um, running on very trained types, etc. So we set out to build um, what we thought a lightweight, flexible carbon fiber plate in a, in a minimal trainer built for long distance, lots of cushion, and again with that flexible carbon plate. So you get a little bit of that propulsive, uh, propulsive feel, um, and again, nice lightweight package uh, with the Endorphin Edge. Well, I keep hearing you say carbon plate, yes. and of course, you got to talk about it because the, one of the main parts of this shoe is going to be the Power Run PB foam. You get that response of nature, but the plate is so important because when you get on the trail, it seems like it, it seems like it's a little bit difficult to find a plate that's going to perform well. A plate is going to inherently create a very rigid platform. What were some of the trials and errors you guys found when trying to create the perfect plate on the trail? We definitely ran through the gamut of, of different sizes and shapes. So um, tested out, you know. Again, tons of different, uh, you know, solid, solid uh, executions in the forefoot, bifurcated um, executions, which is where we ultimately netted out different lengths of the plate, um, and all working with, you know, our athletes and our testers and our lab to really understand, you know, what was going to give that best underfoot feel and, of course, performance on a trail specifically. So yeah, that, you know, again, I think that that was a, a key to, to the testing and development of the plate. And can you maybe take us a little bit deeper into the actual shape of this plate? What sure. What is gonna kind of differ it from the Rhodes uh, plate? And is there is it the same material? Excellent question. So as I mentioned before, working with Carbitex in that flexible carbon plate, um, really our our plate in this, in this shoe is um, anisotropic. And what that means, fancy word, for it is flexible in one direction and stiff in the other. So um, where we think that really comes into play is, again, it'll be stiff in one direction. So as the trail runner is running uphill, that'll allow the stiffness to get them to get that ultimate maximum um, propulsion while going up. Conversely, while running downhill, um, you know, where the terrain might get a little tricky, it'll allow that flexibility and adaptability so that trail runner can feel super confident, super comfortable um, on those technical terrains. Also, from the shape of the plate, as I mentioned, it is a bifurcated plate, so it's going to have that nice articulated feel. Really, we wanted to make sure that was important, um, almost like a rally car suspension, right? So, like, as you're running and getting that um, adaptability on a, you know, variety of train types, you're going to have that ability to adapt and a nice intuitive feel. The length of the plate, again, as I mentioned earlier, we experimented with a, a bunch of different, um, or tested a bunch of different um, lengths, and we netted out on one that actually comes just shy, so we're, it's an extended plate, just shy of the heel. We really did that on purpose so that um, you can get a lot of control on heel strike and you get that really nice, comfortable uh, PB cushioning right underneath the heel. Again, really thought out and, and, and tested and um, we're really happy with where we netted out. Well, I'm really excited about this shoe. We've seen some plates kind of enter into the trail scene, but I don't think we've really seen a super foam work together in a race specific package for the trail. I think the, I think the Endorphin Edge is gonna be uh, a fantastic offering moving into 2022. If you're looking to get this shoe on your feet, you can find it here very soon here at Running Warehouse.